All right, let's get right to it. You hop in your shiny Honda, maybe it's a CRV or an Accord, and you fire it up on a cold, snowy morning. Suddenly, your dashboard lights up like a Christmas tree. You see a big, scary message ACC system problem or collision mitigation system problem. Your heart sinks. You're thinking, oh no, this is going to cost me a fortune. But hold on a second. Before you start worrying about a massive repair bill from the dealership, let me tell you, most of the time, this is something you can fix yourself in about 30 seconds. It's a common issue when the weather gets nasty, and it doesn't mean your car is broken. So what's really going on here? Your modern Honda is packed with all sorts of fancy safety features. They call it Honda Sensing, and it's designed to keep you from bumping into the car in front of you. It uses a special radar to see the road ahead. But when winter rolls in, bringing snow, ice, and all that slushy gunk from the road, it can cause a little bit of trouble for these high-tech systems. The car isn't trying to scare you, it's just telling you that its eyes are temporarily blocked. It's a safety feature doing its job, shutting itself off so it doesn't make a mistake. This problem is especially common during or after a snowstorm, or even on those messy days when the roads are covered in salty slush. The front of your car takes the brunt of all that winter mess. The very sensor that controls your adaptive cruise control and collision braking system gets covered up. Think of it like trying to look through a window that's completely caked in mud. You can't see a thing, right? Well, your Honda's radar can't either. It's a simple problem, not a sign of a major electronic failure like some people might think. The good news is that Honda designed the system to be smart. When it can't get a clear signal, it turns itself off and warns you with that message on the dash. This is much better than the alternative, where the system might get a bad reading and slam on the brakes for no reason or fail to brake when it should. So, in a way, that error message is your car being honest with you. It's saying, hey, I'm blind right now, so you're in full control until I can see again. It's a little annoying, sure, but it's a whole lot safer. So where is this magical radar I keep talking about? You might be surprised it's not some big, obvious dome on the roof. On most modern Hondas, they hide it right in plain sight. Take a look at the front of your car. See that big Honda H emblem in the middle of the grille? The radar sensor is located directly behind that flat, smooth piece of plastic. That emblem isn't just for looks anymore. It's a protective cover for a very important and very sensitive piece of electronic equipment. It's a clever design, but it also makes it a prime target for getting covered in winter grime. This little radar unit is the main brain behind your Honda Sensing Safety Suite. It works by sending out radio waves that bounce off objects in front of your car like other vehicles. The system then measures how long it takes for those waves to come back. This is how it calculates the distance to the car ahead of you and how fast you're approaching it. It's the key component for your adaptive cruise control, which automatically keeps a safe following distance and the collision mitigation braking system, which can warn you or even apply the brakes to help avoid a crash. Now, these radar waves need a clear path to work properly. They can see through light rain or fog without much trouble, but they can't see through a solid layer of stuff. When thick wet snow, a sheet of ice, or a crust of frozen road slush builds up on that Honda emblem, it effectively blinds the sensor. The radar waves get blocked or distorted and the system can't get an accurate reading of the road ahead. The car's computer recognizes this bad data and says, nope, I can't trust this, and shuts the systems down for safety. You'll find guys on Reddit and car forums talking about this all the time. One user on a CRV forum said, first big snowstorm and my dash lit up. I panicked, but then someone told me to just wipe off the H logo. Sure enough, the error went away instantly. I felt pretty silly. It's a rite of passage for many new Honda owners. They learn that the most high-tech features can sometimes have the most low-tech problems. It's not a flaw in the system, it's just physics. You can't see through a wall of snow, and neither can your car. So you've got the error message, and you know the cause is likely a blocked sensor. What's the fix? It's so simple, you'll laugh. You don't need any tools, and you certainly don't need to book an appointment with a mechanic. The first thing you should always do is get out of the car and take a look at the front emblem. Is it covered in snow, ice, or dirt? If it is, the solution is to simply clean it off. That's it. This is the fix that works for probably 99% of people who see this error in the winter. Grab a soft cloth, a snow brush, or even your gloved hand. Gently wipe away all the snow and slush from the Honda emblem and the area immediately around it. Make sure the surface is completely clear and clean. You want to be gentle, of course, because you don't want to scratch the plastic emblem, but you need to be thorough. 
If there's a stubborn layer of ice on it, you have to be more careful. Never, and I mean never, try to chip the ice off with a scraper or pour boiling hot water on it. You could crack the plastic emblem or damage the sensitive radar unit behind it. If you're dealing with ice, the best approach is to use your car's own remote start or heater. Let the car run for a while to warm up the engine bay. The heat from the engine and radiator will slowly and safely melt the ice on the grill and emblem from behind. After a few minutes, the ice should be soft enough to be wiped away easily with a soft cloth. A little bit of patience here will save you from causing expensive damage. A can of automotive de-icer spray can also work wonders as long as it's safe for plastics. Just spray it on, wait a minute, and wipe it clean. Once you have the emblem all cleaned up, the error message should go away on its own. Sometimes you might need to turn the car off and then back on again to reset the system. Just restart the engine and the car will do another self-check. When the radar gets a clear signal, the warning lights will disappear and your safety systems will be back online. It's a satisfying feeling to fix a major electronic problem by just wiping something clean. You've just saved yourself time, money, and a whole lot of unnecessary worry. Prevention is always better than a cure, even for something this simple. To stop this problem from happening in the first place, get into the habit of keeping that front emblem clean during the winter months. Every time you stop for gas or before you head out in the morning, just give that Honda logo a quick wipe. Think of it as part of your regular winter car care routine, just like clearing your windshield. A clean sensor is a happy sensor. Some owners even apply a layer of car wax or a ceramic coating to the emblem to help snow and ice slide off more easily. A lot of owners on forums swear by preventative measures. One popular tip is to use a hydrophobic spray like Rain-X on the emblem. A user on an Accord forum mentioned, I put a coat of Rain-X on my front emblem at the start of winter. Now most of the slush just beads up and flies off while I'm driving. I've had way fewer errors this year. This is a great little hack that can reduce how often you have to manually clean the sensor, especially during long drives on messy highways. Just make sure whatever you use is safe for automotive plastics before you spray it on. But what if you clean the sensor perfectly and the error message still won't go away? If you've thoroughly cleaned the emblem, restarted the car, and the warning light is still on, then it might be time to consider a trip to the professionals. In rare cases, the sensor itself could have been knocked out of alignment by a minor bump in a parking lot, or there could be a genuine electronic fault. The radar system is precisely calibrated at the factory, and if its angle is off by even a tiny amount, it won't work correctly and will throw an error. If you suspect this is the case, your only option is to take it to a Honda dealership or a qualified shop with the right equipment. They have the tools to run a full diagnostic and recalibrate the radar sensor, a job you absolutely cannot do at home. Don't let an independent shop without the specific Honda tools try to fix it. They could make it worse. So, to summarize, always clean the emblem first. It's the easiest and most common fix. But if that doesn't work, don't ignore the warning. Get it checked out to ensure your car's most important safety features are working as they should.